Bible said that um, men ought to pray and not to faint. Amen. I pray the grace and the strength to pray God will give to us in Jesus' name. To obey, we will be praying on just being excellent. Amen. And I pray that the grace to be excellent in every way God will give to us in the name of Jesus. Our first prayer point is taken from the book of Psalms 86, from verse 4. He said, Lord, you are forgiving and good, and I'm bounding in love to all who call you. So we're going to pray and say, Lord, we pray for your mercy and forgiveness to God, that in any way we have sinned against him in our thoughts, in our words, in our deeds, that God, we have mercy over us in Jesus' name. That the grace, O oh Lord, to become wise, that the God of heaven will give unto us in Jesus' name. Let us begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we come to you, Lord, in Jesus' name, oh God. You said in your word, the book of 1 John chapter 1, verse 8 and 9. He said, oh Lord, if we say we have not sinned, we are liars and there's no truth in us. And today, God, we come unto you, God, and we ask for mercy. Holy Spirit, divine, O oh Lord, we pray that in any way we have sinned against you, O oh Lord, that your blood has speak better things, O oh God, it will speak for us in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, divine, O oh God, we pray and we declare that the mercy, O oh God, of Christ, O oh God, will be made, that, that was shed on the cross of Calvary, who will be made manifest in our lives in Jesus' name. You said in your word, O oh God, he said the blood speaks better things than the blood of Abel. And I pray, let your blood, O oh God, speak for us in Lord in Jesus' name. In any way we are falling short of your glory, in any way we are falling short of your grace, O oh God of heaven, have mercy, Lord, in Jesus' name. Let your mercy, O oh God, O oh God, intercede on our behalf in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you and we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The next prayer point is taken from the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 22. It said, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. Today we're going to pray and say, O oh God of heaven, let this fruit begin to manifest in my life. Jesus Christ said that you cannot be any fruit except you are attached to the tree, to the vine itself. Uh, ask and say, O oh God of heaven, Cause me to begin to bear this fruit to God. The fruit of love, the fruit of joy, the fruit of peace, of forbearance, of kindness, of goodness. Let it be me manifest in my life in Jesus. Let me to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that let the fruit of the, of, the, of, of the Holy Spirit, the fruit of being, oh God, a Christian, let it begin to manifest in my life in Jesus' name. Let those, those nine fruits, oh God, that manifest, oh God. He said, above which there's no law. I ask, oh God, let it begin to manifest in my life in the name of Jesus. The fruit, oh God, of love, of joy, of peace, of kindness, of goodness. Oh God of heaven, let me begin to manifest it, oh God. In every realm of my life, oh God. I ask, oh God, for that fruit, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, the grace will become more like you. Even as Paul said in the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 10, he said that I might know him and I'm become more like him, oh God. I ask, oh God of heaven, the grace to become more like you in thoughts, in words, in deeds. The grace, oh Lord, to walk like you. The grace to talk like you. The grace to reflect Christ. Let it be given to me, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you for it, so good. I give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. Wisdom is a principal thing. In all I get in, get understanding. So the way we going to pray and say, oh God of heaven, grant me wisdom, O oh God. Grant me, O oh God, grace, O oh Lord. In all I do, open my eyes, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. The grace, O oh Lord, to be able to understand and comprehend, give to me. The Bible said in the book of Daniel, it said, only those who, who are wise we understand in the end days. We're going to pray and say, oh God of heaven, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, I ask for understanding, I ask for wisdom. To live 2020 in a way that we will show forth your praise. Give to me, Lord, in Jesus' name. That I will not make the wrong mistakes. I will not take steps because of men. I will not take steps because of my pride. I will not take steps to, to show that, oh, yes, I, am, I have arrived. But, oh God of heaven, oh, grant me wisdom, oh God, that in everything I do, I will show forth wisdom in Jesus' name. Let me pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we ask wisdom in the name of Jesus. You said in your word, oh God, that wisdom is the principal thing. And in all that getting, get understanding. And I pray, oh God of heaven, that you open my eyes, that I might have understanding. The wisdom to run my home, give to me, oh God. The wisdom, oh God, to live, oh God, as an excellent husband. As a husband who fears the Lord. As a husband that is being respected at home. As a father, that the children say, yes, my father is an honorable man. I said, that oh, grace, that wisdom you give to me, Oh Lord, the wisdom to be able to manage my to work with my wife. I said that wisdom give unto me, Lord, in Jesus' name. Even for our women, we ask for wisdom, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh God of heaven, O oh Lord, grant us wisdom, O oh God. Grant us grace, O oh God. Grant us, oh God, us ability, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, O oh God. We give you praise in Jesus' name. We are praying. 
Our next prayer point is taken from Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22, 22 to 23. We'll be praying for um, our, um, the husbands. Bible said that um, wives submit yourself unto your own husbands as unto the Lord, for the husband is the head of the, of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. Next month, February, we'll be speaking about marriage. We'll be talking about family. And I'll tell you, you like it or not, there's no one can give you the remedy to a successful marriage. The Bible. Every woman that wants her marriage to work must have this. Submission is a central attribute for, to be an excellent wife. Today we're going to pray for that attribute for our wives, our sisters, our daughters. That, oh God of heaven, the grace to be able to submit, you give to them, Lord, in Jesus' name. The grace to be able to say, yes, indeed. Even as God has placed you over me, I acknowledge you as my head. That that grace to submit, not because of the degrees, not because the man brings in anything. That's not submission. Because a man brings in does not make it, don't mean that you are submitted to him. But because you say, regardless of whatever I have, I will still put it under his feet. That, oh God of heaven, give our women that, oh God, that, that virtue, Lord, in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we stand on, oh Lord, on behalf, oh God, of our women, on behalf of our sisters, on behalf of our daughters. And we pray for the virtue of submission. You said in your word in the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23, he said in your word, wife, submit yourself unto your husband as, the, as unto the Lord. And I pray, O oh God of heaven, the grace and the ability to submit regardless of their position, regardless of their understanding, regardless, O oh God, of their, of their ability. We, regardless of what the law says, I pray that grace you give to them, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. The grace, O oh Lord, to be able to make them, O oh God, women of virtue. Women, O oh God, are willing to make their marriage work regardless. I pray that grace you give to them, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you for all of the God. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Now we'll be praying for our husbands. For we, the men, the husbands. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. Husband, loves, love your wife, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Love is the central attribute of an excellent husband. So we're going to pray right now. Let's ask God, O Lord God of heaven, the grace for husbands to love their wives to God. Let it be given unto them in Jesus' name. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs, it said, under three things the earth cannot bear. Under four, the earth cannot stand. Sorry, under three things, yes, under four, the earth cannot stand. And the first one is, a fool that is full of food, an unloved woman who is married. When there's, there's no love in the marriage, when the man looks at the woman and says, I disdain you. I wish I never even met you at all in my life. Today we're going to pray for love in the heart of our men. The ability to love their wives, as even as Christ loved the church. That they are willing to give up themselves, their pleasures for their wives. That the God of heaven will give to them in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we pray for our husbands today. For every man, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, we ask, oh God, let the attribute of love manifest in their marriages in the name of Jesus. The grace to be able to love their wives, regardless of whatever, oh God, they have done of the shortcoming. That grace you give to them, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. If you said in your word that even as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, and we pray, oh God of heaven, that the grace for a man, oh Lord, to love, oh Lord, his wife, to give to every man, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh God of heaven, we pray for our men that you will open their eyes in the name of Jesus. You will cause that love which they had from the beginning to be sustained in Jesus' name. That their testimony will not be like Ammon. That after he slept with, the, with his sister, oh God, he disdained her. But oh God of heaven, oh Lord, this one to God will say, after I've married my wife, I've, 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 I've encountered to love her more and more in Jesus' name. Father, we bless your name, oh God. We give you praise. Give all the glory and honor, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, oh God. In Jesus' name. We are praying. Our next prayer point is taken from the book of Daniel chapter 5. We're going to paraphrase it. Because an excellent spirit and understanding to solve problems were found in Daniel. We're going to pray and let's ask God to grant us that excellent spirit to follow us in every realm of our life. Imagine a man that they could not find a fault against him. The only way they could find a fault is in, is in his worship to God. Many of us, if you want to look for fault, you will find fault. In the, way, in the way we speak, in the way we act. Some of us are not diligent. Yes, you're, you are supposed to be work for 7.25 hours. Some of us work for less. Today we're going to pray, say, oh God of heaven, oh Lord, grant me that excellent spirit, oh God, in Jesus' name. The grace will be excellent, even at work. The grace will be excellent, oh God, even at home. 
The grace will be excellent, O oh Lord, in my speech. The grace will be excellent in my thought. The grace will be excellent in all I do. The, the grace will be the Daniel of my time. Let it be given to, unto me in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, oh God. We ask, oh Lord, for an excellent spirit, oh God. We ask, oh God, that you grant unto us, oh Lord, excellent spirit in every realm of our life. That in our communication with men and women, in our relationships, oh God, we will become excellent, Lord, in Jesus' name. That people will not see us and say, who, are, who is this one? But, oh God of heaven, the grace will receive that excellent spirit. That people will say, there can be no fault. There's no fault in him. That same spirit that was upon Jesus Christ. When he said, he said, the spirit of the word, he said, and, 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 the, and the priest of this world comment and he finds nothing in me. The grace, oh Lord, to live above reproach. The grace to live above shame. The grace to live above mistakes. Let that grace be given unto us in Jesus' name. Father, we bless your name, O oh God. We give you praise. We give you glory and honor, O oh God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Daniel chapter 6, verse 3. Then this Daniel was preferred above the, the presidents and princes. Because an excellent spirit, because this, an excellent of spirit was in him. And the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Today we're going to pray and say, excellent in speech. We're going to pray and ask God for excellence. That in every way, God will cause us to be excellent in Jesus' name. That, oh God of heaven, that people, oh God, that this will lead also to our place of, of, of appointment. That, oh God of heaven, oh Lord, let that excellence spirit be upon me. That even with everything I do, oh God, people will see me and say, let him be the one to lead us in Jesus' name. That, oh God of heaven, let him be the one to be the one that will, that will be the uh, king over us in Jesus' name. And I don't just begin to pray. I just begin to pray again. I say, oh God of heaven, the grace will be excellent in speech. The grace will be excellent in words. That the grace that God, God will give to us in Jesus' name. And the name of the Lord will be praised and exalted. Father, we just bless your name, oh God. We give you praise. We give you glory and honor, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, oh God. We bless your name, oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. Hallelujah, God. Let's thank you, Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Right now, we're going to pray a little bit outside the prayer points. In the book of Revelation, he said, Do not harm the trees. Do not harm anything unless, until the sons of God have been marked. Also, he said in the book of Galatians chapter 6, he said, For I bear upon my body the mark of Christ, let no one trouble me. Today, I just want to just pray and just ask God to mark every member of your family that the mark of Christ will be upon you in Jesus' name. And even as the blood of Jesus Christ, as the blood of the Lamb, stood on behalf of the days of Moses, that the blood of Jesus Christ will stand for us in Jesus' name. I just want you to, in your heart, by faith, mark your home. I'm not asking you to go and go home and just by faith, just say, I mark my home with the blood of Jesus. I mark my, my career with the blood of Jesus. I mark my marriage with the blood of Jesus. I mark my health with the blood of Jesus. I mark everything as of, of me, O Lord, with the blood of Jesus, that nothing will be missing in Jesus' name, that the grace of God will rest upon your life in the name of Jesus, that the hand of God will be upon you, that no evil will come near you in the name of Jesus, that, O God of heaven, O Lord, you will cause evil to be far from us, O God, as the east is far from the west in Jesus' name, that, O God of heaven, we mark everything as ours with the blood of the Lamb in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for the blood, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. Oh, yes, oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. I say we mark everyone, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Everyone, you know, God. We mark them, oh God. That death, oh God, is far from us in Jesus' name. That lack is far from us in Jesus' name. That when men are saying there's a casting down, we say there's a lifting up in the name of Jesus. When people have said it is finished, we will say we have just begun in Jesus' name. That, oh God of heaven, oh Lord, you will arise, oh Lord, to fight for us, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. You said in your word, oh Lord, in the book of Job chapter 5, he said from six things, oh Lord, the Lord will deliver you, and from seven, no oh, harm will befall you. He said, we shall take stock of our property and shall find nothing missing. He said, we shall know that we shall go to the grave in full vigor. We shall know that our children will be many. Oh God of heaven, we shall love our disaster, oh God, when it comes upon the land. Thank you for it, so God. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I just want to just pray for yourself today. What is it that you are desiring from God? Many of us are too self-righteous. The Bible said in the book of James chapter 4, Say you do not receive because you do not ask. Today I just wanted to pray for yourself and ask something from God. It is God who can do it. It's sealed mouth, it's a sealed destiny. Like the saints goes. So I want to ask God 
and ask him and say, God of heaven, I ask of you this certain thing, O God. Ask God for whatever you, it is in your heart. That is the burden unto you. Ask God to, 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 to manifest it even right now, Lord, in Jesus' name. O God of heaven, O Lord, I stand, O God, as a servant of God in this place. Even as Eli told Anna on that day, he said, let it be unto you as you have prayed. He did not even know what she asked for. But he spoke prophetically. O God of heaven, I stand, O God, as a servant of the Most High God. And I say, as many things, O God, this ones I've asked today, you will grant to them, O Lord, in Jesus' name. That, O God, whatever it is, O God, that has followed them here, because they have asked you, not man, you will do it unto them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, that your hand will rest upon them, O God, in Jesus' name. Even as Jabez prayed, he said, let your hand be upon me, so evil can be far from me, so it can be well with me in all I do. I pray that this will be the portion in Jesus' name. Thank you for it, so God, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying.